Um, it's been good. I mean, obviously, every time you play, you want to win. So I think uh, we've had two really, really good performances, and we were able to get six points out of these past two weeks. And so for me, it's just about kind of keep pushing, you know, keep pushing the guys, keep pushing the team as a whole, and just kind of push for that playoff spot. And how settled do you feel now with the team? Uh, really settled. I think when I came in, I mean, the first week was pretty easy kind of meshing with the guys and settling in and then being able to come in in a couple games, the Atlanta game, and then I think two games after that, I can't remember which game that was, but and then the LA game as well, it, it was good. I mean, I've, I feel really comfortable with the group. I feel really comfortable with the position that Bob has me playing and, you know, communicating whether it's Latif or Moon and then Murray and Fall to my left. It, it's, it's been an easy fit and I feel pretty comfortable. Thank you very much. Uh, we will go ahead and open it up to questions. Go ahead and start with Katya. Oh, there is, thank you. So I said, what have you seen from, from the team in terms of the, the grind, the mentality to come out on top, especially in, in this past um, couple of games? Oh, I think, well, uh, I mean, our team is attacking, is, is always going to create chances. So I think one of the things was just us realizing that that's going to happen, being patient and just making sure, you know, we can see less goals. And that's kind of the biggest thing I think that we've done is having the confidence in our squad and knowing that we will, you know, create those chances. And all we have to do is limit other teams to their chances and we'll be good and just kind of flipping that switch and just, I guess, grinding out games like this one. Along those lines, what have you been able to share with the team, you know, in your experience is also a really young group, but the grind in, in games like this where before results would go out the window and, and just ha being able to, to secure that and, and get the points. Yeah, uh, I think, I mean, Bob talks about it a lot. It's just about being checked in the whole 90 and limiting those, you know, seconds or I guess decisive seconds where, you know, something can go wrong. And so I think that's the biggest thing is just making sure that everyone on this team is kind of clued in, checked in at all times and just kind of, you know, being confident in themselves because again like I said this team is a really really good team great players and they're all pretty young and and that's kind of the biggest thing is just making sure that the little things are going right uh, and last one from me uh, another important win against a direct opponent from the Western Conference what will that mean for you guys at this moment in the season moving forward great it's another stepping stone obviously we're not there I think we're still in or one spot out of the playoff race. So, uh, I mean, just a stepping stone and we're trying to push the streak and go into the playoffs with a streak. So it's a great win, but we still have a lot of work to do. Thanks. Hey, we'll go to Josh Gross. Thank you. Um, can you talk about the last push here? Bob, talk about sort of this frantic feel the games go back and forth and that's just the way it is at the end of the season. Has that been your experience and can you talk about what to expect over the last 11 games in terms of that? Yeah, I think there's going to be some sort of, you know, like you said, that crazy wild feeling aspect to games just because especially teams who are trying to, you know, get into the playoffs. So I think for us with the quality we have on the squad, it's about in those moments, you know, being composed, being calm and you know, letting our football kind of shine in the way. And I think that's the biggest part, because like I said earlier, this team is really, really talented. And if we're able to quiet down all, you know, the noise, we, I think we can be really, really successful. And, and these last three matches, seven points uh, out of nine, I mean, after a win the streak uh, of eight matches, can things change that fast? Can the mood in the locker room change? Can you sort of forget the troubles and all of that just disappeared and you're moving forward now. What, what's the mental switch that you guys are, are working on? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say you forget because obviously if you get too complacent, you know, a loss here can lead to another loss. So I think it's obviously understanding what we were feeling then, understanding how much that hurt and then pushing on to the to these other games and understanding that, you know, no, I mean, no one wants to lose at the end of the day, but it's more about you know, pushing forward and pushing together collectively. And that's kind of the big thing is 
all of us collectively doing it, you know, not being individuals and trying to get big team wins and stuff like that. And one, one more from me. Um, four of the last 11 are here in L.A., which means you're on the road for seven. What, what does that do for you just in terms of the challenge that you guys face? How much more difficult is it? It makes it difficult, but, I mean, I think, like I said again, this team is talented, and I believe if, again, that's part of the noise I talk about. If we're able to quiet all that noise and, you know, let and just play the way we know how to play, I, I think we can be successful, and being away doesn't change too much. Thank you. Yeah. The last question will come from Joseph. Thank you so very much. Uh, hello, Sebastian. First of all, congratulations on, on the win. You already mentioned earlier that the LAFC is a really offensive uh, team. In that sense, you as a defender, what are the things that Bob asked you to do? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just win, win your moments. You know, there are certain moments in games where, you know, you have to make a play, and that's kind of what he tasks us to do. You know, there are certain elements to the game, where, whether it's offensive marking, stuff like that, that we and me, Murray, and Fall, you know, we have to look at and make sure we're organized and make sure that, you know, we, I mean, I guess try to preserve the zero and try and get a shutout because at the end of the day, we know that we will get chances and we know that goals will come. And how is the chemistry going with Jesus Murillo? There is obviously the language barrier, but, you know, soccer language is universal. How is that going? It's good. I mean, we talk a lot. I don't know how much of it, you know, gets understood. But no, I mean, at the end of the day, we can talk, we, we understand the game. So it's, it's pretty easy to, you know, in certain scenarios, talk it out and figure out what each of us are saying. So, you know, the chemistry between us is good and fall as well. I think we mesh really well and, you know, we're able to look at certain situations on the field and kind of just react w with what each other does. So it's, it's been really good and been pretty easy to fit in there with them.